Brachiation is probably one of the most innovative and very interesting things that Frontier has added in the latest update and DLC for Planet Zoo. Today, I do want to take the time to sit down with you guys and kind of talk about it, maybe even discover some new things about it along the way. Uh, a lot of the times when I was building for this DLC, I was very confused as to how the whole system was made up. So I do want to take some time with you guys right now just to sit down and really learn about how to best utilize this new feature that we've got with the Planet Zoo Conservation DLC, specifically with the Siamangs. Now, of course, in order to get your animals to really use enrichment, one of the things that I've noticed in my gameplay, especially in sandbox mode, is to keep them fed and keep them watered. Always making sure that they have all the necessities that they need will encourage them to use their enrichment a lot more as well as explore their habitat. So that is the first and foremost thing. The second most thing that I do want to kind of exemplify is the fact that you guys should honestly use Frontier's blueprints for this. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the most important things for you guys to try out uh, using the Frontier climbing frames, which are the small brachiation frame which we could see represented right there, using the medium brachiation frame, as well as using the large brachiation frame, is going to be your number one way to learning how the system will work. Being able to analyze pieces from a blueprint is one of the most identifiable skills that you could possibly have in a game such as Planet Zoo, and really dissecting these builds themselves really allows you to get a better glimpse on the system. You could see just how well they work with the Siamangs now that Frontier has officially made their own version of these, and I think it's very important that you guys start to kind of analyze this in case if you guys do want to become pros at utilizing this system. Now if we make our way throughout here, we could see that I already have all the pieces laid out, and I do want to move these out of the way. Whoops, I've been a little unprofessional two minutes into the video, but it's totally fine. We can see that we only got one, two, three, four, five pieces with the latest update, and that really isn't too bad. So, of course, a lot of people may be wondering as to how we're able to achieve something with all of this, with only five pieces for creating such a unique system in the game, but you can see that we can already do such dynamic shapes such as this, uh, with the pieces that we have already and it's learning how to use those specific pieces that I think is going to be one of the most uh, crucial things when it comes to making advanced climbing frames now moving on through here We can see that we can already start to manipulate these in different ways We could see that we can even add on other climbing pieces onto here and animals should still be able to reach those heights. Uh, adding these climbable logs to the bottom of these builds will allow them to reach them at a new height. So in case if you guys do want to raise this a little bit more, let's just say you want to get rid of these support beams down here, you can add these thick climbable logs to the bottom of this, kind of orient them the right way of course, and then they should be able to traverse among them. So, as long as you guys do have these all reaching the ground, they should be totally fine. You can use any other climbable piece in order to find what pieces are climbable. You can search up climbable in here, and it should be able to tell you what you can be able to use. Of course, there's so many different pieces that you can use when it comes to this whole system. You can use the Australia logs, you can use the bamboo beams, you could use the East Asia columns, you could use these timber pieces. There are so many different base game pieces that you can use when it comes to this stuff that I'm sure you guys won't have any issue trying to figure out what you should be able to use when it comes to that. One of the things that I might even propose right now as well is even doing some hybrid frames. So if we go back here and look up climbable rope, I know a lot of people will tend to love to mix this with both pieces. Uh, so if we use the curved rope, sorry, words are coming to me very slowly today, and kind of push that right into the build right over here, kind of sink that in right there, and then push that right there, as well as push this one back right there. We can even experiment right here and see if we can make these hybrid frames, which unfortunately we can't, which is kind of a shame. But I think this is just an example of how finicky 
these might be. Let me just try this out really quickly. I'm really, really just kind of throwing stuff at the wall right now and seeing if it sticks. And yes, now they are able to use that, which is very interesting. So in case if you guys can't tell, the edge of these pieces is going to be very, very finicky. Uh, you can't exactly put two of these pieces together and expect them to work. And I think there is going to be a hard cutoff when it comes to this. So in case if I do want to, I can push this all the way down. And we can see if they're still able to achieve that gap right there. It seems like that they can't really achieve some gaps when it comes to this system. Which is a little bit of a shame because I would love for them to really make use of of like you know some very tight gaps when it comes to these frames but still if we check this out over here they're still able to achieve that which is very good but i don't think that it's actually capturing like you know the fact that i don't want them to access it from there but no it seems like as long as you have it in a little bit more on that side it should be fine so if we do want to move this over just a smidge and pardon me my world axis is being a little bit silly right now we could see that they will still use it. Oh my gosh, that's actually wicked cool. So you are able to actually make hybrid frames, which is great. Now, of course, you can see from over here that they're still able to access this one, which is really good. I'm not sure if they're able to actually break it on that, but you can see that there is a nice uh, leeway over here when it comes to interrupting props. So in case if you guys do want to use the Bengal bamboo, for example, and make a really nice planted habitat with the frames kind of going throughout them, you could place a piece of bamboo right there, and we can use our Siamang for reference, and see that while it does kind of like overarch it a little bit, they still are able to break it on that, which I think is pretty swell. Another thing to take into account as well is that you do need to have elevation in these. And of course we can kind of see through this frame over here that frontier did give these guys a little bit of elevation and even this one over here we can see that they are being held up by these pieces down here which means that we could even imply that we could go up to the stars and do a very tall climbing frame for these guys so we're just going to keep pushing this down a little bit mm -hmm. and we're going to see if they're still able to achieve great height such as this i'm not sure what realistic setting that you would actually have for that maybe you guys want to have like an o-line for your animals but rather it's not an o-line it's an s-line because o is supposed to stand for orangutan but it still is super awesome that you guys are able to achieve that now of course this is a very finicky system uh it's a very clunky system which i'm not going to fault frontier for it because these guys are really unique animals and I'm so happy that we even got these guys to begin with. I mean, look at that little man just freaking out over there. It really is super awesome that we even get this in the first place. But still, it really is such an awesome system. And you're able to achieve so much with it that I think it really is super awesome that we even get these guys in the first place. So looking over here, you can see that you are able to do junctions, which is going to be really awesome for... You know making these unique frames so we could even go over here and start to edit frontiers version of this so we could even have this kind of go off in a different direction if that makes sense so we could kind of tuck this guy right back over here and we can even have a little bit more of a loop thrown in so we could kind of tuck this guy right over here and yeah we could honestly even just connect this guy all the way back up and just see what we're able to achieve and i believe that they should still be able to break it off of this i'm not sure what would come into play if we do kind of have this system intersect itself uh that's going to be really interesting to see if that does affect it at all but i do think that that's going to be super awesome just to see what you guys are able to whip up with that and i believe if we do click on uh, well, I guess they're all going over there, so that's actually pretty good. Oh, they're just going to go eat. That's nice. Um, but if we do check this out, we can see that they are able to use all of that. I'm not sure if they would swing from this side over to that side. Unfortunately, I don't want to waste the time in the video just waiting for these guys to do something, but it really is super cool that we're able to use that little tool, the navigation tool, just to see what they're able to achieve. And I just think that's super awesome to begin with. But still... 
really awesome stuff over here. I can't wait to see what you guys kind of whip up with your climbing frames. I hope this video was a little bit helpful in trying to understand the unique system that Frontier was able to introduce. And I'll tell you what, we'll end it with looking at our beautiful Siamangs. Hope you guys enjoyed the little video today. Hope you guys are enjoying the Conservation DLC. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.